Yo up guys, Mr. Ross here, back from MBR Starcast, that was more League of Legends gameplay. So today again it's one of my spectator modes, looking over some of my actual special weapon Zack gameplay. I haven't uploaded Zack for a little while, um, a video of Zack, but I've got so much footage of him um, in the spectator kind of mode, it's unreal, purely through all the rank that I've been doing with him and NASA, so I do actually have a lot of rank with him and NASA, so videos like this. So I don't actually, I'm not recording my rank at the moment because I'm normally in... Um, in a duo queue with my friends, so we're normally just kind of uh, chilling and I I could record those videos but I really don't see anything that interesting, it's just me and him literally just going, yeah, SS, SS. And then that's about it really, so it's not really as interesting as some of the other kind of pre-made videos that I'd done before where, like it wouldn't be so bad if we were, if one of us was jungling, but where, like say one of us top, mid or support really, we're not really chatting to each other that much. Um, Unless we are sort of AD carry or support, which never happens, as neither of us really play that role. Um, only, or generally, my friend has to feel support because I'm high elo, so he's generally bottom of the list, unless he can get mid, which is his preferred lane, then that's where he has to fill it normally. But that's the way it goes, you know, you got, you, unless you, uh, he picks up some more elo, then he's going to have to be put in that position because he's playing with the big man. But anyway. Even less. We're playing as Zach today. I love Zach. Zach is amazing at top. Um, I think Nasus is definitely my favourite top lane champion. I do like Zach, but Nasus is just godlike. You know, I'd never have that feeling with Zach. You know, when I when I play Nasus, I can go there and I can just destroy people. I literally just thumping down on their faces with his Q. Well, Zach, you know, I can get triple kills and all that with Zach on my own. But I don't really have that feeling with Nasus. I just feel more like I am Nasus, like smashing someone in. Well, Zach, you know, he's cool. I do love Zach. I think he's amazing. But he just doesn't bring that that Nasus does, or I don't feel that oomph when I play as that, but he's still one of my favourite top lane champions, he's really good fun, doesn't really get banned, doesn't really get played by anyone to be honest, um, I don't know why, I think he's, um, he's good, he is good, I don't know, I don't know, some, some of it is, I don't know if you would call it OP, a lot of people call it passive OP, but at the end of the day all you do is you just kill his passive, and then like, if you can't kill it when it's regenerated, just leave it, and then his passive's down for the next five minutes, so, you know, it's not the end of the world, it's no difference to, uh, Anivia's egg, really, you know, what, what what's the difference? And Anivia's egg, if anything, is more OP because it has armor, whilst, uh, or it gives you some more armor magic resist, whilst I don't believe Dax does, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure Anivia's egg is a lot stronger than Zach's passive, so, um, so surely Anivia's OP, but she never gets banned, or played either, really, and I think Anivia's a strong main champion. But anyway, we're going to focus up on top lane today, that's, uh, you're just waiting for it all to kick off. Uh, well, we're number one, how about that? Lovely stuff. We'll get, uh, get myself up here. Um, I do apologise, my voice sounds a little bit funny this video, I still have my cold, so I apologise for any of that. Um, it is not going away, it's uh, become a bit of a pain now, really, if anything. But anyway, we're against Yorick in lane today. Yorick, you know, is always been a tough, you know, he's a kind of a, someone to put up in top if they want to kind of shut you down and make you feel a lot slow, you know. Uh, champions who Yorick do well, I, I can't think, uh, and there's some games where you play against a Yorick and they absolutely demolish, who was I playing? I was playing, I was playing someone and he was absolutely demolishing me and there was literally nothing I could do. Um, I can't think who it is, but... Anyway, at the moment, you can kind of see Yorick's doing alright. The problem with Yorick at this kind of early level, if he keeps spamming his moves like he is on me, purely to try and off this um, harass that he's doing, then he eventually will run out of mana. Um, as you can see, he's dropping low mana. He has chucked Ignite onto me. He did actually pop his ghost to secure that. I didn't flash away because I knew I had my passive up. And there's something you guys may have seen. You may have seen this in one of my long moments that I did. Somehow... Um, I don't know why, he obviously didn't realise the minions was attacking him or something, or he didn't take so much damage from the minions. He got killed before he even actually respawned, I've never had that before. I've killed people when I've actually like kind of respawned and you've put a cue to their face, because generally they're pretty, pretty low after you've been fighting with each other. But Yorick just died to the minions. Um, so an easy kill for myself to pick up for the sake of my passive, I can't argue with that. I can now back, you know, I've got 8 CS more than him, I've got a kill and straight away, 4 minutes in, that's the equivalent of a giant spout. Boom, that's another 400 health pretty much, uh, 400 HP that I now have over Yorick. So that advantage is just crazy, you know, you, you can't argue that whilst Yorick's had to back, he's had to buy his Terry Goddess, you know, fair enough he's can afford that, it allows him to spam his moves a little bit more, but he has no damage and he has no more, um, he has no HP, so, you know, now during the battles, you know, I've got another sort of 400 HP to play with, I've still got two health pots, he's got no health pots, 
and just towards. So he has no sustain, he kind of really relies on obviously his heal which he has in his Q or one of his little ghouls that heal him. I'm going to watch down here, will he he has gone for it, will he get the double kill? I think he's going to die for his troubles. Will this fall? Oh, car. Uh, that shit's crazy. I'm going to go back up top anyway. At least there's OP. <laughs> I can't believe they both just dived under that. That shit's crazy. Um, but anyway, let's see, we're back in the top lane. I've already lost a lot of my HP. Yorick is really quite near trading quite well with me, I'll give him that. Um, this game's, I think it's almost about a month old now, um, from where I actually played it. Um, oh, she's killed all three down there in bottom half. Fair play to least. And super bad. Feed the support, why don't you? I have actually chucked my knight down onto Yorick, and he should drop, yeah. So, um, you see that I did lo lose a lot of HP. I think the kind of one of the reasons why I was losing my HP is that you have to remember when playing Zack to be stepping on your little passive there, what you drop off. Because if you don't pick that up, you will lose a lot of HP. Because obviously, when you do a move, it costs you HP. So, unless you're picking it up, then you literally, unless you have a lot of health regen or health pots, you you will notice that big time. And that that's what was happening there. We have direct camera. Can we see something go on mid lane now? For whilst we are back and something interesting might happen, but it did not. So just remember that. And I've been playing Zach a little bit recently now. Um, let's say about a month or not, not necessarily a month, maybe about two, three weeks since I done this video. And a couple of players are starting to come a bit more clever. They kind of understand what Zach's about, and they actually understand about um, walking on that little goo to stop you regaining your health. And if they do that, you know, it can affect you, so just remember that, remember to be on top of that because it will come back to haunt you. And that's why you'll find a lot in the team fights. You might see at this game that your HP can drop very low without being damaged because you're just spamming, spamming your moves, especially your W. You keep spamming that, you know, it's kind of costing you like 100 health a piece, you know. There's a lot to be dropping in. You won't generally pick it up because it's not your focus to be picking up that HP. Your focus is to be killing the AD carry or the AP carry or so forth. So, even less, we put a ward up in this top lane, keep it all nice warded up just in case Maokai. So to show us a visit, but we're looking fine. We haven't had to burn a flash all game. I think Knight's down at the moment after we um, killed Yorick. So we're two kills up. Double his CS quite easily. Highest CS in the game. Um, and we're looking alright, you know. My farm is never great. I always mess up on my farm quite a bit, I, I must admit. Purely because I don't think I play a league enough at the moment. You know, I kind of go in and out of stages when I play league. Um, generally because I have my vi- or, you know, I only upload one video a day, you know, if I was playing more league, I'd try and upload, say, two to three videos a day, but I don't really play that much league at this moment compared to what I was last year. Um, I don't know why, I, I would try, I'm going to try and get back in it, I see, I see how rank goes, I'm trying to move up the divisions, but you know, it is Elo how, as you call it, what I feel I'm in now, you know, I don't know, yesterday I played ranked, and on, um, I won, out of six, the six games I played, or I played more than six, but in my last six games I won one out of six, so I lost five games, um, it was a joke, it, none, or, you know, None of it. To want one game where I played a Carly, I played against Singed up top. I wanted to try a Carly top, and it didn't get ready. Or I didn't feed. I didn't really die to him. But I just couldn't kill him because he was Singed, and I went for defensive mastery because so I wanted to be a bit more tankier. And you just can't. Really, it doesn't really work with a Carly, so I couldn't really bring much to the team fights. So kind of VR, I can just kind of accept it was my kind of fault that we lost it. You know, not because of feed or anything, just purely because of team comp and so forth. But in all the other games where I, you know, I done with Nasus or you know I played with Zach, and I, I raised and uh, and we lost and uh, that's the way it is and I'm now actually bottom of my league with zero points to start it off the day we were actually won the first two games of the day I was uh, looking around I had about 70 points and then after playing it all I'm now on zero points I think if I lose one I actually be relegated for the first time I think I've been promoted about five times in a row uh, not on a straight concept uh, not like straight away but I have been promoted about five times without being relegated so I hope not to be relegated just yet but it is a tough, uh, it's a tough old thing in the, in rank. There's, I just don't know. It's just, I don't know what how better. Uh, there's got to be a better way. League could kind of organise rank games. I think. Um, I don't know. You just get a lot of trolls. Not necessarily. You know, you do get the odd blood player here and there, but generally it's more than tro more trolls than anything really. And people who refuse to kind of communicate. And it's a team game at the end of the day. That's that's the point. And people are just so kind of solo minded that it's me and I'll carry the game and so forth which isn't the case but anyway even less I could ramble on about that all day long there um, we're still back up against Yorick looking nice uh, item wise we've got our boots, giant spell and a regrow pendant uh, just to give us a little bit of um, 
health regen as we have no health pots and it can build into a war mog eventually anyway. Plus a ward. Um just to keep Oh, double kill gonna cast them, very nice. That's uh, always a good thing. Cast them getting fed up. So anyway, we're farming up sixty five CS, which again is nothing really nice. I should be aiming for about I'd say at least ninety by about ten minutes. Or eighty to ninety. I think a hundred really is where you're or if you push yourself, but the thing is, I, I generally find, you know, with my CS, I don't mind that my CS is as low as it kind of, or you know, not necessarily low, it is the highest in the game, you know, I, I, that, that has facts there, you know, it's not great, you know, it's not like I'm a flipping pro like Darius or something, farm up like crazy, um, but the fact is my CS is highest in the game and that's all you can do really, you know, I, it is there to be improved on still, you know, 70 by 10 minute mark is, you know, it's not too bad, but the, the thing is you've got to remember on top is that in my lane, I think the reason I lost a, lose a lot of CS is because I'm very aggressive in my lane, if you watch the pro players play, they're, they're con they just concentrate on farming, you can see a lot of the pro games, not many kills happen unless really the jungler comes, you wouldn't really generally see someone die kind of 1v1, one, one not necessarily in top lane because they're just so tanky. Uh, maybe in mid lane something might happen, but generally I find unless the jungler comes in the pro games, they don't really. Um, normally kills that happen early game. And generally I find kills are always kind of decided around sort of dragon where everyone's trying to fight for a global objective or something like that. Um, but anyway, we've got two kills on top of our CS, so we're miles in the lead than anyone else in the game. You know, if we actually uh, flip this over to the gold chart, I'll cut back on myself. Our X, there we go. We're fine at <laughs> hotkey by hotkey. We're getting there. Um, Three thousand. Oh, we're gonna go in actually. That is a pretty aggressive uh, E. Then I have actually checked ignite on him along with my ultimate, and I didn't actually kill him. Wow, that was very bad. I was getting him. I was a bit greedy with myself there. Will I get up in time? I did not. I died from my troubles then unfortunately and it's all getting down. So yeah, that that was a bit aggressive by me, I think. That, that that's the problem I find in lane. I do it very often is in my head I I can play safe and you know, I was in the lead master, you know, I'm in the lead master. Seventy nine CS to Yorick's twenty eight. I got two kills over him, or only one now, but I was massively in the lead of him, demolishing him, and then I do something like that because I get too greedy. That That's one of my main problems, I get greedy. Um, I, I had a prime example of that yesterday when I was playing Riven, uh, no, Renekton against Riven, ranked, solo top, demolishing her, she got down to 300 HP, I had my ultimate up, I was like, yeah, you're gonna, I'm gonna turret dive you, I'm gonna kill you, I missed my stun, my stun didn't hit her at first, and then I was like, oh shit, and I'm still gonna commit with it, still went all crazy out on her, dropped her down to about 50 HP, and then, uh, went up to the top version, and somehow she must hit level 6, and then before I knew it, she turned her ultimate on and then chopped, and I was like, no, um, and uh, it would have been easily avoided, I was winning the lane as CS and everything, but I get this kind of bit of tunnel vision and I'm like, I want to kill you, which, you know, it's alright, but you've got to be 100% confident that you can do it, which I thought I was, I thought I would have killed him. I had my passive up as well, that was the reason I did it, but unfortunately my ignite and everything, I don't know, something something went down there and I didn't kill him, possibly because he had his ghouls, what healed him up, um, I don't know. But not, it's not the end of the world, you know, we're still quite firmly in the lead, you know, 87 CS to 29, yeah, that's a massive difference. Item-wise, you can see, he's gone for a bit of magic resist now, it's not really going to help him out. And it is all going down, we have actually got Cassidy and, um, Hecarim coming up to the rescue, I've had to actually flash away, because I have no ultimate up, which is a bit of shame, because it would have been nice in that kind of situation. And I did have my passive up, and I did actually die, <laughs> wow, that was bad, that was bad by me, that was, um, a very greedy death, I could have quite easily avoided without um, actually a dying down there, but um, I don't know why I went back, I got snared by Mal Khan and it dead, I had no passive, had no flash up, or oh, no, I burnt flash, sorry, to get away from there, so I should have just left it, um, you know, that was a kind of silly death to give away, and stuff like that in rank can kind of really, you know, you don't really think about it, you're like, oh wow, I just died there, but you know, it can kind of actually start the snowball champion sometimes, you know, it kind of gives them a little bit of hope, you know, and, you know, you see the score, it's 13-10, uh, we do have a little bit of a gold advantage, but you know, it means that Maokai can now back and he can buy a bit more magic resistance you know, when he comes now against my lane next time he's going to be a little bit stronger and he might be able to make something more happen so there's kind of like little things like that you do have to kind of take into consideration like a death like that was easily avoidable had I backed it would've, I would have backed and it would have been happy days but I didn't I got greedy for no there was no reason for me to actually have went back because I'd have never done anything so yeah, just pure greed, really, and stupidness, uh, which kind of led to that death, and it could quite easily be avoided. But, not to worry, these things happen. Um, 
Maybe there goes my flawless game quite easily now. <laughs> Through both both times I died, they could have been quite easily avoided deaths. Easily. Um, I don't know if this is right. York CS is just not going up. It's been on 29 for so long. <laughs> I can't believe it. There we go. It's actually gone up. Um, yeah. Anyway, we we're going to look at the gold and we got a bit distracted. So, total gold wise by the 50 minute mark, I'm on 4,400. Highest in the game by about. Oh, Vladimir is doing quite well. He's about 200 behind me, so but, yeah, he's got three kills. A little bit. I still have um, about 20 CS over him, so kind of makes sense. Oh, will I die? I have no passive again either. I don't. Think. I'm pretty sure my passive would actually have been down from that. I'm not sure what actually happened there. We actually had a quick rewind. I think we were looking at somewhere else then or so. Let's back up. We've, we've got to be doing this for some reason. I like. I think it must be on directed camera or something. Though. Anyway. We're up in this top lane, battling out. Yorick has hunted me down. Uh, Elise has come. I'm trying to use my E. I have actually been able to fling over there. E, she has used her power to catch up with me. She has got a stun down on me. The knight has been dropped down with Yorick. The ghoul chased me. And luckily, my help up there taken away, and that will actually keep me alive. And that would have been the third death in a row. Once again, I had my um, had that help not have saved my ass then. And then Chase and Valley Miller's silence has gone down, so in the slow by misfortune. Can uh, oh, a bit of a bit of miscommunication there. Um, but that's what solo queue is all about. <laughs> the queue was secured though, so it's not the end of the world. Um, just a bit of a waste of misfortune's bullet time, but I don't know. I'm sure it'll be up for the next team battle. I'm sure it won't be that costly, but there we go. Um, Dragon picked up, you know, that's going to increase our gold advantage to 4k now over um, the purple team. Five kills going away. Can they pick up this mid lane turret? Casting on Hecarim and Janna. Hecarim is so scary. Look how fast he is just charging their Graves. Graves has fleshed away. The rift bought by Casting and Woody chasing Malkai has snared his ass. And Silence Guard down on the Graves. And then rift bought on top of him. And that is going to be GG for Graves. And the ultimate coming down by Hecarim. And that will be a double kick. Double kill picked up by Cass in there. Very nice, very nice little play. Um, but good stuff, very good stuff. So they got a little bit greedy, got a bit too far pushing that turret ahead there, and it's cost them three kills. You know, Malkai trying to come in there and save uh, his fellow bottom teammates and uh, dying for his trouble. So yeah, let's split back up the top lane so we don't miss any action. <laughs> We've uh, taken the top turret up to about three quarters of its health now, so we're looking in good in that position. Item wise, uh, you can see that I've actually gone for my home guard sorcerer pen boots now, purely so that I can get our base quicker. I love these boots, just because it regen your health so quickly. You get back in the lane really nice. You got a bit more. If you got a bit of spare gold to spend, I recommend buying them, especially uh, come late game. You know they're amazing when you're when you're getting pushed or whatever. I just really like them, you know, I find, I've been buying them every game and when I don't buy them, I just find, um, I said the base is just too long waiting for my health to regen, especially when you're playing a tank like Zack or something, it's not so bad if you're a squishy champion. But anyway, item wise, we have a giant spout and a blast and one on top of us as well, so uh, I think I'm going for a Riley's early this game, depending on who I go against, you know, I might get armor, you know, if I'm going against, say, an AD, carry, um, an AD at top like Gangplank or something, I admit I'd possibly go for it, like a, um, a uh, Sunfire Cape or something, but it's all good. Uh, I'm about confident in this game, so I'm kind of going for that little bit of AP to start off with. You see, they're trying to make a gank up top. You already actually pop his ghost there a bit aggressively. Janna has been caught out, that was a pretty bad move by Janna. Uh, kind of a bit far pushed up them. Um, and it has cost her a life, and it does mean that we have Yorick, Malkai, and Vladimir pushing on this turret. Will they be able to do anything? I have actually popped my out on it. Let's bounce on top of them. That is going to be Vladimir dropping for his troubles. Hecarim is going to be here to give me a hand. Yurik has popped his ultimate on himself, so I will have his ghoul chasing after me. Picking up the double kill here. And was that the triple kill? And that was a triple kill. Yurik's ghoul trying to go to town on me, but my passive. Alright, Yurik. And we're back in the party. So, um. Making up a very nice triple kill there, I can't actually, I can, I can't actually remember that happening in this video, but I'm not going to argue that, triple kill, um, very nice, you know, for 2 on 3 engagement, um, with me and Hecarim there, firing our way through, and you can, that's the kind of power you can see of Hecarim, um, of, uh, 
Zach's ultimate let's bounce, you know, you literally just bounce all over them and the damage it causes is jokes and it just knocks them all up, you know, you can still do your W in that form, so you, you like there, whilst that tanky champion that's causing them more damage because of that and so forth, so it works kind of well against Vladimir and Yorick, um, and then, uh, Hokerim just putting on me a little bit of additional damage and I picked up a triple kill, so that's going to put five kills in the back of my pocket now, you know, that's going to at least almost a K of gold and I'm going to back with Mal, so I should be able to complete my Riley quite easily, if that's what I wish, and we're going to have a look, will it be done? We're going to see any, any uh, second now, it's a race, can we do it? Oh, I'm just going to stand there and mine nothing whatsoever. So over the board, um, mid lane has absolutely demolished right out of cast from 11 to 1. Um, I guess it looks like bottom must have paid for that because they've got, Graves has got 1 to 5. So I think he's been kind of uh, poking down at bottom. But anyway, you can see with all my gold that I had, I've now been able to buy a ride. He's had an Energize about on top, so it's going to be real nice and tanky. They are looking all to try and make a play up in this top lane. Janna is up there on her own. Um, all five or oh, four members. Graves. Oh, Miss Fortune's up there as well. I didn't realize Miss Fortune was there as well. Oh, the repel coming in by Elise. The ultimate by Janna to try and split them up. Good guy Janna taking it for the team. Um, and Miss Fortune will get away. But I have come up here with the troops. Castleman is here. Janna's still got us. Janna has actually died somehow. Uh, bouncing all over them. Hecarim popping his ultimate down in there as well. And it is all going down. Um... Graves hasn't died yet, he will die for his troubles though. And will Maokai get away? Elise could possibly get away. I think I'm chasing Elise actually if I look the thing, we can't see that on our screen. Uh, I'm sure a flick over there, she has been exhausted by Janna. And there we go, nice E on top of her, the slingshot of death. Landed on top of her and that is one squished spider. Put us up to 7 kills, 28, 12, 21 minutes in, 10k or 11k gold advantage already. Four turrets to the one, looking super strong for ourselves, and uh, it looks like this will be a win in the bank. Um, this is ranked again, I must uh, This is ranked, so you know, it's a nice little ranked game. Um, feeling very strong playing Zack at the moment. Um, even though, or well, not at the moment, at this point in time, I was feeling very strong playing Zack. Really enjoying Nasus again at the moment. And you can see they have put the surrender vote in, so any second now, the victory noise will be going to us. Da 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 da. A victory. <laughs> no better sound. So, um, nice little game there, guys. I will be bringing out some more kind of this butch like this. Obviously, I've still been doing a lot of live recently, but I do have quite a few games like this, and I quite enjoy doing them, you know, because I can look at what I've done, and I know I know a couple of you guys like the live ones, and a couple of like you guys like this one, so I'm going to try and mix them up as much as I can. Um, and all this footage is ranked, whilst the other stuff I'm doing isn't normally ranked. I will try and bring some ranked out when I start doing some solo queue. But at the moment, I'm still trying to get warm back in the league. Um, in this way, you know, I can kind of talk about points and so forth. I will be doing a Vladimir guide soon, which will be something different. And we'll start to make some other guides like that, hopefully. Um, once I get a little bit of time on my plate. And also, so yeah, so if you guys also have any ideas from any videos you'd just like to see with League or any kind of things you want changed about, give me a shout in the bottom and we'll see what we can do. Um, I think that's about it, really. That is about it. A nice, easy win there for Zach, really. Two silly deaths. It could have been easier, flawless game, but nevertheless, we picked up a nice triple kill out of it, so it's all good. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and you have a good day, and take it easy. Peace.